Capricorn. What is going on? It is Scorpion Reds Tarot. I am back at it again. Yes, indeed, with the remix to let you guys know what is going on for mid month June, the 15th through the 30th. Shout out to everyone who's clicked this video. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my page. If there is anyone who would like to book a personal or private reading with Scorpion Reds, you could do so by clicking the about tab the about tab has all of the information that you need to connect with me so if you want to book with me only thing that you need to do is book and then link okay book and then link click that booking link that says scorpion red several at simply book me okay then once you select the reading that you want double back on over to that youtube page on that about tab and click that instagram link that is directly under that youtube link and go ahead and send me a private message let me know the day and time that you schedule for us to connect if I can squeeze you in earlier, I'm going to get you in where you fit in, baby. Trust and believe. I ain't going to let you wait. I'm going to make you be great, honey. We're going to get it done, okay? Trust and believe. Listen, um, if you do not have an Instagram or if you prefer not to use your Instagram, there's also the option of Google Hangouts, all right? So what you need to do is go to your Google App Store or your Apple App Store or whatever app store that you have. Download the app and use my email, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com. Send me a message and then, you know, we'll connect there. If you do not want to get on camera or if you want me to record a recap of your reading that you have purchased, only thing you need to do is select the add-on which says re video recap slash direct upload, okay? And you can use that again if you want me to record the um, personal private reading session and upload the video to YouTube, which is a private link only that you and I have access to so that you can go back and watch the reading. You can use it for that or if you don't want to get on camera and if you want to just send me your question, you can use that add-on for that as well. So if you prefer not to get on camera, once you select whatever platform you're going to use, have it be Google Hangouts or Instagram, send me the question that you have pertaining to the type of reading that you um, purchased, okay? If you just want the general energy, just say, hey, Reds, I don't want to get on cam camera, but I just want general energy. Cool. All right? <clears throat> Make sure that you do not tell me any imp information surrounding why you're asking the question that you're asking, okay? I only want to know what you want to know, and I'm going to see what spirit has to say so we can know how to guide you, okay? Um, so please do don't tell me the meat and potatoes why you're asking the question, okay? Don't tell me about this situation. Um, if there's anyone that does not have enough money to book a personal private reading a personal private reading is basically what we're about to do right here where you're getting read by a whole bunch of different decks and stuff like that it takes about like almost like 45 minutes to an hour so if you do not have enough money to purchase that but you want to become a collector gatherer member you can join us over at patreon i've moved the live readings over to patreon so you can become a, a member it's a, it's a membership okay for ever 1.99 or 4.99 4.99 is the tier where we'll be talking about more sexually explicit and having readings done by some more sexually explicit decks here you know so um, and then, of course, we got the tarot deck of sexual magic and everything like that. And we definitely talk about adult topics over there. We will be doing some live call-ins. Um, I have a few topics. So, basically, what I've been doing is with those collective readings and um, that we, the information, the tea that we've been getting out over there, um, I am going to, now, the retrograde is hitting me early because all of my shit is breaking. I just had a printer break. I just had my wireless um, uh, speaker break. And amongst other things break, so whatever. We're just going to leave that where that's at. Um, we're going to have call-ins um, where you guys are going to be able to call in and have live readings where you guys can, uh, for the four ninety nine tier, like I said, that's the adult-only tier, and you guys will be able to have call-in readings where you guys will be sitting in a queue on a, on a conference line, and I will be taking your calls, and it's like 10 minutes each. You guys will see me on camera. You will hear yourself on live doing the reading and you'll be able to talk and interact with me like that the 199 tier is just regular live readings where you guys are sending the messages in the chats or you can send me a message pr prior to especially if you know that you're not going to be able to make the, the live reading you can send me your question and say hey I know you're going live today I'm not going to be available to get on during that time but this is my question boom you know so that's what we're doing so if you do not have money to purchase 
a live reading, I mean, a personal private reading, a full personal private reading, or if you just want to become a member, you know, if you want to be able to have access to quick readings and in a private setting, that's the other thing about Patreon, it's members only, so only members have access to this, and you can interact with each other and everything in a private, back in the lair, so if you want to become a Patreon member, you can do so. We have a lot of fun over there, and it's going to continuously grow um, as soon as I get my equipment back together. So, anyway, um, shout out to everyone who has been sending love and light to the page. Um, we got a few new decks here. We have the Zen Tarot deck that was sent over. We have the num Numerology deck that was sent over by Amazon Wishlist as well. We also have, um, which was sent to me as a graduation pre uh, present here. We got the Healing Light Lenormand deck, all right, that we're going to be using. That is brand new. And thank you guys um, with 31 Shadows. Thank you so much, 31 Shadows, for sending that. And um, what else do we have that is new? Also, I want to give a shout out to my baby girl, Amanda, for that donation that she sent in through PayPal. And that made us... Uh, made it possible to get this love oracle deck which is new as well so thank you so much because we got four brand new babies right here and you know we got the game of thrones deck which was sent to us by my baby girl Callie um a while back so we got all new flavors like a lifesaver over around this bitch okay so shout out to everyone who has been sending support and love um via donations through paypal or amazon wishlist thank you guys so much because it's pushing me to grow and as i said in the other reading that i just did i am going to be um pushing myself a little bit because um 31 shadow sent me this lenormand deck i'm very much so interested in learning cardamancy and um learning how to read lenormand so um you guys are probably going to see me in the future starting the readings out with um cardamancy you know with um playing cards uh me reading with playing cards and me reading with lenormand decks and me integrating them into the readings a little bit more so um and I will forewarn y'all when I get those and I'm going to be using those a lot more that I'm training and I'm learning. I might just put those up on my other page. Um, and then also y'all can follow my backup page, which is the Scorpion Reds Tarot channel. Y'all can um, follow up my, my backup page too, which I'll be posting some bonus videos over there as well. So, um... Yeah, love and light throughout all platforms. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Let's get into the reading, okay? So again, yes, and if you want um, to support um, all of the links for the Patreon, PayPal, Amazon Wishlist, Booking, Instagram, and again, my email is scorpionreds at gmail.com. All of that stuff is in the About tab, so you can connect with me if you have any questions. Let's get into the reading. Father God, ah, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Capricorn. It is June the 15th through the 31st. Please give us guidance um, throughout this time and our period in this year. We are, listen, we are, we are growing in a lot of ways, Father God. I just heard flabbergasted. Um, I guess we're flabbergasted. I don't know what we're flabbergasted about. Um, I know during this Gemini season, like, there's a lot of big changes. There's a lot of big Secrets coming out is a lot of big revelations. It's a lot of closure coming and I guess we're just flabbergasted at it all because you know, it's Really pushing us to the momentum of where we need to be like we need to you know Like pick up speed a little bit to where we're going and it's you know putting the our foot on the gas, you know what I'm saying? We speeding up with momentum here and we just Thank you, Father God, because even though it sounds like we're flabbergasted about whatever the revelation was, um, it's pushing us to get to where we need to be, Father God. So um, this season was very much so needed. Um, it doesn't need to be repeated. I'm going to tell you that it was very much so needed, but doesn't need to be repeated in the name of Jesus. And Father, continue to give us guidance for us, for us uh, Capricorns, um, for June the 15th through the 31st. I don't know why I just act. I keep hearing December. I felt like I said December. Did I say December, you guys? Or oh, I'm saying December. I'm hearing December. I don't know. Maybe something happened in December. I don't know. So, Father God, thank you again for all of the blessings in the past, present, and future. Please give us guidance for us 
for our Capricorns. Why well, I can't talk? Why well, I feel like I'm talking in like a weird foreign accent or something like that? What the fuck? Like you saying us, it just is like we wouldn't come out or something. I've been drinking or something. I ain't even been drinking. I'm drinking coffee and water. <laughs> what the hell? God, please give us spirit number for my beautiful Capricorns. Capricorn, what's going on, baby? Capricorn, what's going on? I just seen pink. I just seen pinky in the brain. What are we doing today, brain? Same thing we do every day. Try to take over the world. We're pinky in the brain. We're pinky in the brain. One is a genius. The other's insane. We're pinky, we're pinky and the brain, 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 brain. Time out time. Time out. It's time for somebody to go on time out. Uh, skirt. Skirt. Uh. Okay? All up in the solar plexus. Bitch, say it with your chest. Say it with your chest. All up in the, the stomach and chest region. Let it, let it, let, let it start from the belly and just reach all the way up into your throat, into your crown chakra so it could be some full understanding. If something need to go on time out at. Bad doggy. Ah, ah. Bad, bad. Okay? Someone's been a bad dog. Someone has been a bad fucking dog. And I just like, excuse me, you guys, because I just said that I am studying. So I want to see what does this number mean? What does this number 37 mean? The number 37 means very individualistic, a scholar, and a book. A voracious lead reader a scholar and a voracious reader hmm hmm it sounds like y'all gonna be reading motherfuckers y'all gonna be reading uh-uh uh-uh motherfucker you gonna uh-uh motherfucker you about to be reading the fuck down on niggas okay you about to be telling somebody i i bitch Hello, motherfucker. There it is. I was about to say. I was trying to get it out, but I couldn't get it out. Hello, motherfucker. Okay? Bitch, you about to get somebody a read down of their goddamn life. You about to tell them, listen, I got my own individual rights with that number 37. Okay? Hello, motherfucker. Bitch. Give me guidance in regards to this time off for my Capricorns. Because Capricorn about to let them know what's going on. Mm. You with that solo plexis, okay? You know exactly what you got to do. You getting all your emotions and all your energy right on together. You focusing all your energy and making sure with that purple, that crown chakra, that someone going to get some understanding. Hello, motherfucker. You got to get the fuck, okay? Someone about to get red day boy. you right, okay? Say it with me one more time. Hello, motherfucker. Yes. Let's find out why we about to put these hoes on time. Ow! Change! A change is coming. Huh? Hold on, hold on. Don't worry about a thing. Change is coming. Change is coming. Hold on, hold on. Don't worry about a thing. Hello, motherfucker. Bitch. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's that wheel of fortune. That wheel of good fortune come around for Capricorn. And Capricorn ain't got no time. Okay. Ain't got no time to be dealing with nobody that, that's coming with the bullshit. That's coming with the bullshit. We ain't got it to do. We are not receptive to the bullshit. Okay. I'm reloading. Boom. Right in your face. Put your right in your place. Right in your face. Put your right in your place, bitch. Okay? You don't hear they do anything for clout in the background? They do anything for clout. Uh, they do anything for clout. Y'all niggas is doing anything for clout out here. Okay? There's someone out here clout chasing. And they, and they, and, and, and they want Capricorn to be receptive to a whole bunch of bullshit. But what we say? Hold on. Change is coming. Bitch, you better hold on to your boots, bitch. You better tighten your boots up, bitch, because change is coming. It's coming through like a whirlwind. We coming through like a motherfucking uh, 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 a tornado storm through this, bitch. We wrapping you up. We wrapping you up, and we locking you out, okay? Capricorn unlock somebody the fuck out of the house. Who, what, y'all don't put someone out? 
Someone's an outsider. Hold on, they do anything for clout. Uh, they do anything for clout. Hold on, bitch, watch your mouth. Bitch, stay in your place. Okay? My bitch on your ass, Kim K. Okay? <laughs> Capricorn said, my bitch on your ass, Kim K. Okay? Listen. Capricorn got a whole ass bitch out here now that's out here looking like Kim Kardashian. Someone got cut the fuck up and cut out. Okay? Capricorn will cut the fuck up and cut the fuck out. Okay? I done told you. I done told you. What did I tell you? Time out. Ots, ots. Bad little doggy. Ots, ots. We're very individualistic over here. We know how to act out. We know how to act out. We know how to act out over here. Okay? I am reloaded. Ch -ch Boom. Load up the gap. Okay? Load up the gap. Y'all done locked somebody out. Y'all done changed your life. Y'all done, y'all done this and y'all done changed your life. Y'all not receptive to anything that is not emotionally fulfilling to you guys. You guys are so balanced right now. You see that yin and yang in the in the center here. You guys are like, I don't, I don't, I'm done. I am done making the same fucking mistakes. I'm done having an ongoing train, a misfortune, something that happened to Capricorn that I feel like they realize how precious life is. They realize how precious life is in anything or anybody that is not fruitful for them. If it's not going to help them grow, they're they, they not dealing with it. Because Capricorn, they've been living a wild life for a long time and they done had a good ass time. Okay? One thing Capricorn can't say that they ain't live a full ass life. They just sex, drugs, right and roll, honey. We done did it all. We didn't did it all, but right now it's time to slow down. It's it's time for certain things to to be put on time out, and I feel like a lot of blessings, like God has been showing Capricorn, like I'm here for you. I've always been here for you. You know what I'm saying? Everything that you've been experiencing in your life right now, you might not have understood it then, but I feel like. You're coming to some slow understanding now and you realizing that a lot of things really do need to be left behind and you need to go forward because you got so much blessings and good fortune coming to you. And it's just like, I feel like you guys are sitting back and you are taking the time out and just experiencing everything internally, like in your mind, like having an out of body experience trying to like I feel like you just slowing down and kind of reflecting on everything that you've been experiencing throughout your life and you just kind of taking the time out and slowing down and you you just change like change I'm and I'm forgetting that that card says change because the only thing I'm seeing is the will of fortune change like you guys have truly changed you guys are calling that change and you guys are focused on that trinity your mind body and soul all of them frequencies coming in through your mind, body, and soul. And you are only receptive to positive energy. You're no longer being receptive to anything that is keeping you emotionally out, out balance. You don't change the locks with somebody. You don't lock somebody outside. Someone that got locked out. The snake. The bear. Someone that's a fucking cold-hearted snake. A devil. In serpent's clothing. Didn't even really try to change their appearance for you. This is someone that's a bear. Someone that's big. Someone that is very masculine. Someone that's very domineering. Um, possibly someone that may be re revered and feared. You know what I'm saying? Revered and feared. Um, yeah. Someone of big stature. Someone very tall. Someone... Like a bear, a very big, you know what I'm saying? A very big person, a very big person. And then the lilies. This is someone. This is someone who tried to make his appearance come off as if he was a loyal debonairing and resourceful individual and he had a pure heart and intentions but this is a snake here 
This is a snake. That's a snake. The number seven represents withdrawal, represents contemplation, represents understanding, knowledge, wisdom, spiritual analysis. So I feel like that is why we're going through this moment right now. And I feel like what Capricorn is doing with that number 37 representing, you know, individualism and being a scholar, being able to read people. This represents you being able to recognize that you can't judge a book by its cover because this man being this bear, I feel like you looked at him as if he was a leader. He was a protector. He was a provider. Like this one was someone that, you know, I, I feel like you were very intrigued by their stature. Number 15, loving, forgiving, tolerant. That's what number 15 means. Like this person, I felt to, to you... This person to you, I feel like you fell in love with this person's stature. Like you like big people. Like you like you like someone that towers over you. You like to feel protected. And also I feel like you like this person's kind of like ferociousness. Even that kind of snake-like ability. Like how they're able to kind of slither around and maneuver and still survive. And like, you know, I just like, let me, okay. And then I want to go a little bit deeper into that Ten of Clubs here to see what this means. Ten of Clubs, ambition, achievement, success can represent commerce, movement, travel, a journey. Also, also re reference to trips, usually over water. Okay, so... It's, I feel like you got you got caught up in this man's approach or this woman's approach, maybe their stature, their look, their demeanor. You know what I'm saying? Whoever this Capricorn woman is, she likes someone in, that's big, that's, she likes a big masculine man. She likes a big masculine man, but he was a wolf in sheep's clothing. He was a wolf in sheep's clothing, for real, for real. Most definitely. Most definitely. And let me just... Let me just go a little bit deeper here. Let me just go a little bit deeper here. The queen of spades here. I mean, the queen of clubs here. A businesswoman. A trusted female friend. A social butterfly. Okay? Someone is well known and well liked. She enjoys clubs, societies, other social functions. She runs her home efficiently. She likes to keep busy. She's a hard worker and prefers to stay active in whatever type of lifestyle that she likes. And I'm going to tell you, for a Capricorn woman, that most definitely sounds like, because I got a cousin that's a fucking Capricorn. And I'm going to tell you, she moves around. She move around like that, though. Like, she do. Like, she do. But she is, like, very fucking successful. It's like, she has a charm and a gift like no other. I mean, she can fit in any type of fucking atmosphere it don't matter if she is around business execs she can sit she can fit in there and she can be successful and she's around street thugs she can fit in and be successful there it, it don't matter where she's at like she can do that and my cousin she definitely loves big men she loves big men but this one this person this person I feel like they put their self off to be a keeper. I want to just verify what that number 30 means. Hold on. And I hope that y'all not irritated by me going through my phone doing this shit. All about communication and creativity. Yeah. So. I feel like something that should have been pure. Something that should have been pure was tainted because I really do feel like this king of spades isn't necessarily the king of spades that you think that he should be. You know what I'm saying? 
this one didn't communicate. I don't I don't I don't feel like this one was loyal at all with that snake and that bear. I feel like he used this this is someone who could have potentially even used their stature and their builds and stuff to intimidate someone. I most definitely feel like that. Bear number 15. Bear number 15, a boss. Personal finances, aggressive. Overbearing, a bodybuilder, physical trainer, a judge, a chef, diet, weight, bully, overworked, protective, hairy, muscular, big bone, strong. Okay? And with that saying about the woman here, I feel like I feel like this was a situation where Someone used their gift in their vernacular of communication, their build, their stature, and their ability to kind of seduce and intimidate at the same time. I feel like the woman in this situation, she likes kind of be to be controlled to a certain aspect. Do you understand what I'm saying? But she expected this man to be loyal. She expected this man to be committed with that lilies there. And I'm going to tell you guys what the lilies mean. The lilies represents an older person. Your father figure. Peace, calm, a male over 30 years old. Established. And... It also represents loyalty. I know that it represents loyalty because that's what it it represents to me. It represents someone loyal, someone committed. Some it represents a long term committed com relationship. But I feel like with this snake being in the picture here, that's not what they got. That's not what they got. I feel like someone used their gift of their vernacular. Of their build, their sex appeal, and their stature. They seen a hard work working woman. Um, and this woman thought that it was going to be something long standing, something committed. That this is a, a, a grown man. She likes an older man. She likes a, a, a man that's bigger, that's taller than her. And she thought that this one was going to be the protector and was going to be. She thought that she was going to be the main female. And this woman allowed this person into their family room. Only to realize that there was a false person in the mix. There was a false person in the mix. And that this and that this, this king of spades here. Unexpected income. Unexpected income. So what I'm getting here she's the hard worker and let's see what the king of spades says let's see what the king of spades says so she is the hard worker and he is let's see he is the man of authority ambition power divorced or widowed an older man a leader a lawyer a judge a police officer a health specialist, a man of a foreign country, he can be arrogant, opportunistic, deceptive, cold, calculating, shrewd, possessive, emotionally controlled, detached, uh, a viral in the business or love. Do you understand what I'm saying? So he is the snake. She is the hard worker. So do you see what I'm saying? She was the hard working successful woman and he snaked his way into her energy because he felt that this was a good business opportunity. He felt that he could come around and, and, and assert himself as the older, more experienced, um, protective giving, you know what I'm saying? Or at least it seemed like or at least he was giving the form of protection. But this woman had no idea, you know, that what she was investing in, she thought it was something good, but it really wasn't. This one wasn't as loyal and as the dotting good, protective, giving father figure that he 
appears to be. This is a shrewd snake. This is an opportunistic individual looking for a chance for a come up, not necessarily for love. Do you understand what I'm saying? This 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 had to do with unexpected income. I feel like this person felt like only thing I have to do is make this one think that I'm the main woman, but I'm the snake. You know good and goddamn well that that ain't the truth. I just need this person to invite me in their male woman. As soon as I get in that motherfucker, I'm the bear. I'm going to dominate and I'm going to control. Do you understand? I am going to dominate and I'm going to control anyway. Okay? All right? Because at the end of the day, regardless of what, I'm too slick for this person to be able to read me. I'm too slick for this person to be able to read me with that number 35. You know? I mean, with that number 37. This person presented themselves as, like, they came in there under false pretenses. They weren't who they seemed to be. It was all about money for them. It was all about money. Let's go to the Game of Thrones. And I'm sorry, you guys. I will get better. And I'm, and I just, I just want to stop apologizing. I know that I don't have to apologize, but... Sometimes I feel like maybe I should not come on to the camera until I've actually learned, learned, learned certain things. But no, like, that's how you're going to learn. And as you keep doing it, like, it's a new art. I don't know um, Lenormand or Cartomancy like that. And I'm learning. And as I learn, I'll get better. And I won't have to refer to my phone. So I hope that you guys, um, you know. I'm still able to get the message and you know that's not too annoying for y'all and I do apologize if it is but um, just bear with me as I am learning a new art okay please clarify the snake the bear the priestess clarify the snake the bear the lilies the main woman the family room the false person and the unexpected income The Eight of Swords. The Chariot in Reverse. The Ten of Cups. I feel like there's an a end to the emotional fulfillment in, in this situation. But it's just like... So with that High Priestess, with the Red Queen, you know Melisandre... She's a wicked little bitch, but she, at the end of the day, at the end of the season, by the time the Game of Thrones had ended, Melisandre had redeemed herself, even though she had sacrificed that little girl, and she had did, she had did what she thought was right at the time, even though it might have seemed wrong to other people, and that's the thing that people don't understand about Capricorns. They do what they feel like is right at the time, regardless if it seems wrong to other people. They did what was what they felt like they had to do. You understand what I'm saying? And I feel like Melisandre right here with this high priestess, you guys had to do what you had to do. And I feel like you have cut yourself. You have definitely put someone on timeout with this high priestess card. Because the high priestess is alone. She's by herself. She is withdrawn. She is withdrawn. Okay? She don't need nothing or nobody. She is going into herself to figure out what it is that she exactly wants and what she needs. And if it's something that she don't know, she'll study it herself. She doesn't go to nobody looking for no answers or looking for no fucking handouts. You understand what I'm saying? That's what people come to her for. So you guys have most definitely cut somebody out. Whoever it was that you were the main woman to, you cut that shit out because you realized real quick that this motherfucker was just trying to get up in my fucking house. This person was trying to get in my family room. Okay? I wasn't the main one. No, I no, I was the main one. But that's the thing. I I, I I don't like that card. Do you understand what I'm saying? I don't like that card. That's number two and that's number two. It's like you needed someone that is supportive. Someone that is balanced. And that's going to help balance you out. You need it. Some cooperation. And I don't really think that that's what you got. You got a snake. You got a snake. You got a king of spades. That's not what you want. 
That's not what you want. And I feel like you're in a mental prison right now with this Eight of Swords. It's just like mentally in a situation where it's like I remove this person. I put that shit on time. I remove myself from it. But mentally, I just can't get over a lot of things because it's like. I allowed this person in my home. Y'all could have had a child by this person. And it's like. Something so fulfilling. It, it Something that should be so fulfilling. You know. I feel like the light has been illuminated. To, to, to just. As, as quick as it was. Good it was bad. You understand what I'm saying. So I take this ten of cups as. Something that's emotionally fulfilling to you has come to the end because it looks like those candles are, are, are burning down. You know what I'm saying? Those those some of them candles are burning down and they're about to burn out. And I feel like it's only a matter of time before all of the emotional fulfillment is gone because like as soon as those candles burn out, how many is almost burnt out? One, two, three, four. Like you got four almost burnt down. Four almost burnt down. Right? This is that chariot card. I feel like shit is like winding down. Things is getting to the tail end. Like I I, I definitely feel like a chapter is 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 closing. And the fucked up thing is, is that it is a Ten of Cups in the upright. I feel like this person is still in your home. This person is still in your life. Where you still have to carry on with this person in some type of way because of this Ten of Cups. Like, that represents a family to me. Like, y'all have kids, a family. And I feel like that's why you are in this mental prison because otherwise I feel like if it wasn't the fact that y'all have this family to uphold, I feel like you would have been left. But because of that family is there, like you're happy about that. I feel like every day that you look at your family or your child or whoever it is, I believe you maybe you have a child by this person. I believe every day you get fulfillment in just that, looking at your child and seeing how beautiful your child is. But emotionally with that person, it's like over because like you just emotionally can't even move forward with that. This two of coins, yeah, you're definitely letting go of the situation as someone that is not putting the work in with you and is no longer serving you. It's like, no, time out. The nine of spheres, you know. I feel like you're tired of... Feeling like you got to be on guard with someone. I could just get rid of you. I don't even have to feel like that. You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't even have to feel like that. Hermit. Yeah, it's like, it's like. I don't have to keep arguing with you. I don't have to keep feeling like I got to put a wall up so that you don't hurt me no more. I don't got to do that. I can just let you go. I can get my emotions together. I can get that emotional. I'm going to get that emotional fulfillment anyway. Because I'm emotionally fulfilled with or without the situation. I still got some candles. I can still got some flames still burning in me. I just got to figure out a way to get out of this emotional prison. In this mental prison. That's why I'm alone. I feel like y'all been playing with fire a little bit. And putting your hands over the fire. And see how long. You know, you can do before you pull your hand out and it burn you. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all been playing with fire a little bit. And even though it might have been stupid, it made you very, very tough. It made you very, very tough. But just certain things is just like, it's not even worth it. And you most definitely are going towards a new beginning. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're going towards a new beginning. And these and, 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 and the wands in this deck, it has a spear. And the, the spear has like a, a, a metal tip at the end of it. It almost looks like a sword. I feel like this time around, like you are sharper than ever. 
You are sharper than ever. You being around this this slivering snake, this aggression, this person. I'm praying to God that this person didn't hit y'all. I really wouldn't put it past this person with this bear and this snake card and that king of spades. I would not put it past this person because this person is like. This person thinks that they use their big burly stature to control people and to get people to do what they want them to do. And you didn't do you were doing it for a while. But then after a while you stop because you like, uh, uh, motherfucker. Hello, motherfucker. Hell no, nah, I ain't doing that shit. I'm about to drop your ass right there where your false person ass stay. I'm going to drop your ass right there. And I'm going to keep it moving. The hermit card. Just like I said with the high priestess card. There go that hermit card. That's you being alone. That's you getting your mind right. That's you getting your focus together. That's you, you building your drive back up. So you can figure out how to drive this chariot. Because you can't go nowhere if you can't get your emotions together. And number one, you got to get your money together. Whoever this person is. Whatever this situation is that you just left. Left you in financial ruin. Because this person was... Like stealing money from you. I definitely believe that this person was stealing money from you. And if y'all don't know that, go and check y'all bank accounts now and just make sure that your bank account look right. Go through your account with like a fine tooth comb and just make sure that there wasn't no withdrawals or something like that that you, you didn't approve. Because I feel like this person, like I told you, this person was, is an opportunist embrace reflections so this says through each other you find missing pieces reflection give each other some space at the moment trust and have faith that all will work out for the best okay especially if you guys have family with each other like I really do feel like you I feel like you guys, you and this person are like a reflection of each other. Like the good, the bad, and the ugly. You see what I'm saying? And that's why I'm, I'm getting that embrace. That through, through each other you find missing pieces. Because I feel like certain things within you Capricorn that you didn't see within yourself that you needed to fix. By you embracing this person, they showed you what you needed to fix because you couldn't stand it in them. You cannot stand seeing it in them. You know? And through this person, you found the missing piece of the puzzle and you realize, you know what? I'm actually a hard worker. I'm a good person. I don't know why I attract these king of spades or whatever. They're just like these opportunist ass people that like to take advantage of me. And you know what? I can't even fuck a lot. I got some of that in me too because I be doing that shit to people too. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it helped me to embrace what the fuck I didn't like about him. It's the same shit that people were telling me that they didn't like about me. But I didn't want to embrace that shit and I didn't want to see that shit. And now I realize that this person was my reflection. Reflections. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith. All will work out for the best. This person was my reflection. And even though it hurt me going through this shit, sometimes you got to get a taste of your own medicine to realize, you know, a spoonful of sugar helped the medicine go down, honey. Look, let's get some tea. Give me the tea. Give me the tea. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me the tea. All right. Can you give me some guidance in regards to this high priestess? Give me guidance for my high priestess. Feather. Someone you know is undependable and insincere. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The king of spades, girl. The king of spades. Star. You are granted. What's it says? Star, you are a star. There is guaranteed success coming your way. So don't worry about this situation with this person. Oh, Lord Jesus. Don't worry about this situation. You are guaranteed success. Dark man. Dealings or relationship with a man with dark complexion or dark hair. Okay? So...
cup, you should accept valid cri criticism. Hold on, y'all. So, someone that you know is undependable and insincere. They seem guaranteed success here with you. I feel like they felt like you were sweet for it. Like you were sweet for it. This is a dealings with a relationship with a man with dark hair or dark complexion. It's a big, tall, burly ever. This person has a lot of weight. Ever is heavy set or big bone or just a very tall man in stature. Extremely tall man. And it's saying that you need to accept this valid criticism. Like you need to accept what, what is being told to you. This person sees success here. This person, and like I told you, they said that this person was an opportunist. Do you understand what I'm saying? They were opportunists. They seen success here with you. And this is an undependable and an insincere man. This man didn't really mean you any well. This man didn't mean you any well. Give me guidance in regards to the heart chakra for my Capricorn. But shit, you, you, it looks like you done locked this person out. You done got this motherfucker on out the way, huh? You ain't even know what to say, huh? You done got him up out the way, huh? Daydreams and decisions. Right now, y'all heart is together. And you're having daydreams and decisions on what to do next with that number seven. Like I said, that number seven represents contemplation. It represents withdrawal. It represents understanding, knowledge, wisdom, spiritual analysis. Right now, you are in a place of contemplation. And you daydreaming and you thinking about the future. And I already told you that on that snake card. What is this? Giving and receiving. You're not giving to this person anymore. You're not giving to that situation anymore. You put that shit on top out. You're not doing that. Well-deserved reward. And you're receiving a well-deserved reward for it. For it. You are closing them cycles. Reach out. All right? It's a lot of grounding. Opportunities beckon. Come on now. Observe. Come on. Cap a fucking corn, bitch. I'm fucking with you. I am And then right under that shit is the crown chakra. You done got your mind together. Come on, father. Come on. Come on now. Come the fuck on. Come on. Like I told y'all. <laughs> Y'all woke as shit. Y'all are very aware of who this person is. Y'all know that this person is a snake. You know that this person is an opportunist. You know that the whole situation was about money and a place to stay for this motherfucker. You put this bitch on time out. Because one thing that you're not going to do is play with no motherfucker Capricorn. Because you better Google a bitch and find out about what the Cap a fucker Capricorn is about. You don't want to fucking play. We got good hearts, but we will fuck you up. Okay? And you don't want to get on our bad side. Okay? Okay, oh you you talking about someone going dark on your ass and will fuck you up or will get someone to fuck. See, that's the thing. Capricorn don't need to get their hands dirty. They will get someone to fuck you up with your big burly ass. There's someone bigger than you. Okay, so please take all that shit and don't be trying to come over here trying to bully and trying to aggravate people and trying to. Because I definitely feel like this bear is now crying and and they're trying to hit the sob story and trying to. Like I said, this person is a snake. Their bullying and aggression can also come off as being sad and trying to get you to sympathize with them. That is also a form of bullying because they're playing with your heartstrings because you're not giving to them no more. And they're like, but I don't have no place to go. And what am I supposed to do? Who, 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 are we supposed to give a fuck? We done told you, bitch. Time out. Time out. This is the art of reading right now. We are reading your ass down to the floor, bitch. These cards said that you're a snake. Capricorn is not receptive to you. Capricorn got a whole bunch of... Change is coming. Change is coming. Hold on. Don't worry about a thing. Capricorn ain't worried about a thing. I don't know what you worry about, but you better figure it out. At, at. Time out, honey. Time out. You don't have the key to this fortress no more. You better go find someone to play with. You better go find someone to stay with. You better go back to your mama house. 
You better go back to your mama house. You better go back to whatever them bitches house you was fucking. You better go figure out what you gonna do. Figure out what you gonna do. Cause whatever I was experiencing with you, I don't wanna experience it no more, bitch. Take care now. Bye bye then. Yeah. I'm sorry. Don't know what to tell you, bitch. Don't know what to tell you. But I'm receiving a well-deserved award because I don't reached out to spirit. And I said, Father God, please help me because I'm off ground. Okay? This person has unrooted me and tried to make me act a motherfucking monkey doodle dandy ass fuck. So you don't reached out to the Lord. He done helped you get yourself all balanced and grounded. Okay? You are protected. You are aware. You are insightful. Alright? And you know exactly who you are and what you're going to do and what you're not going to do. And what you damn sure ain't going to do is give to a punk ass motherfucker when you over here daydreaming and manifesting and bringing in change for your new beginnings. Bitch, we don't have it to do. We don't have it to do. Opportunities are back in. Opportunities are calling or tapping you on the heart. Capricorn, are you home? Yes, I'm home. Who is it? Opportunity. Oh, really? What kind of opportunities? Capricorn, can you open the door? What kind of opportunity? Big dicks and a lot of money. Oh, really? What else? Splash Mountain and a lot of amazing shit. Open the door. Um, what you say your name was again? Opportunity, Big Dick, Wakanda, Splash Mountain, Big Checks, and Respect. You wanna let me in? Yeah, come on in, nigga. What's up? What's cracking? What's popping? What's popping? What's popping? What's popping? What's popping? What's popping? Bitch, you done observed the scene with the gangster lean. You let you asked questions this time. This Capricorn house, it is. Who the fuck are you? Big dick nigga from Wakanda. Let me see. Send me a picture. Slide it under the door. Did you get the picture? I did. Okay. I need you to do a timestamp on the next picture. Put it next to a motherfucking um, Comcast remote. Put it next to an Xfinity remote. I need it. Put it. Put it next to the Xfinity remote. I need it to extend a few inches past the Xfinity remote to know that you're from Wakanda. Did you get my picture? Yes. I observed it. I will gain you access. Open the door. Open sesame. Okay? <laughs> Crown chakra. You you know what you're getting yourself into now. You don't have to take a time out and you had to get your shit together. But like, hold on. All this motherfucking Splash Mountain Unicorn Power Ranger push shit that Red's been talking about. I don't know because I've been bullshitting because I wanted to be on my motherfucking bad and bougie shit. Okay? Alright? Bad and bougie. Something, something with the Uzi. I don't know what the fuck that nigga said. I was riding around with the Uzi, okay? I was bad and boozy. Riding around with the Uzi. I was riding around being Miss Gangsta, bitch. I ain't want to go to Wakanda. That sound like Splash Mountain. That sound like some Disney World shit, but I ain't, I ain't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm sitting over here. I was trying to figure out, like, do I really want to go to Wakanda? These bitch talking about Wakanda. I'm all over here in the south side of Compton and shit like that. I'm riding around gangbang with my nigga, moving keys and motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? Pipping bitches and motherfucking sex drugs and rock and roll. When you doing it? When you listen? I don't know what Capricorns y'all know. That's the Capricorn I know. My cousin, that's my motherfucking cousin right there. That's my cousin. Anything good, if you make something sound like it's something that you need to do and it's good for you, she ain't going to do it. She ain't going to do it. But if you make it sound like it's some sex, drugs, and rock and roll and some hood shit going, oh, she's all for it. She's for it. But now, I feel like, you know, Capricorn done observed and they like, um, maybe that Wakanda shit don't sound so bad after all. Because these niggas over here is full of some fuck shit and I ain't about to go to jail. Because these niggas about to make me catch a case. Fuck around with them. On everything. And I ain't got it to do. I don't have it to do. I don't have none of it to do. And I'm not giving my time to none of that shit anymore. Because I'm going to go to jail. In these niggas' tail. I'm going to go to jail in these niggas' tail. And that's the other thing. Yeah. I'm going to go to jail in these niggas' tail. Okay? You dealing with some old fake-ass, fuck-ass, fraud-ass, bitch-ass niggas. I'm going to go to jail in these niggas' tail. Now, I'm going to have to smack the shit out of these motherfuckers to get them well uh, deserved results of they action. Because I feel like Capricorn put motherfuckers on time out before they act real indignant. Mm-hmm. You see this observed call? You see how they... On, on every the, the center in every four corners, they be like, hold on, is this motherfucker playing with me? Hold on, is is he, is he, is he, is he? I just had to check every aspect just to make sure before I have to fuck somebody up. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, no. No. You had to look deep inside, honey. Is he about to make me reach out? And okay. Okay. I think he is. I think I need to get away before I say oops nay on the on the open blade. On the open sleigh. Give me guidance in regards to this heart chakra. We daydreaming and hoping. And we not giving to shit that is not for us. We got our crown chakra. We had full understanding why we went through this shit. Full understanding. The sevens of swords. Deception and strategy. Shh. Be quiet. I'm loading the cat. We about to move out. We about to empty out all of the bank accounts, okay? You hear me? Hey. Wake up, bitch. You got your shit together? Listen. We about to creep up on these niggas. Alright? These niggas sweet. These motherfuckers thought that they was fuck around with the fuck around, but I done told them I'm a Capricorn. I'm about to play coy with they ass, and I'm about to get. So listen, all right? I already done got our plane tickets together. All right? I done figured out the cash, uh, the, the passcodes and shit. I got somebody at the bank to make that shit look untraceable like it was just a motherfucker bank error and shit. We about to uh, take all that shit out. I done packed everything up. This nigga ain't gonna figure out nowhere where the fuck we moved that bitch. We about to get our name changed. We about to move to motherfucking Costa Rica and shit. Just got a nice ass property out this shit. Fuck this nigga. And, 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 and you know what? Dead ass on God. I'm about to put some tranquilizer shit in his motherfucking um, porch in the morning and shit like that. And I'm gonna cut off his pinky toe so he don't have no balance when he wake up in that tranquilizer. He ain't gonna be able to feel a motherfucking thing. But when he walk, when he wake up, he just gonna, broom, he just gonna fall right on over because he ain't got no pinky toe on his left foot. But broom, he just gonna fall over. And then he gonna try to go to the doctor and realize he ain't got no money to pay his copayment. He just gonna, broom, his whole life just gonna go, broom, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, he gonna have a smooth ass seat right there on the floor because um I don't know why y'all try to play with me like that but yeah I feel like um mm-hmm yeah mm-hmm six of cups memories yeah someone done pushed Capricorn but they done whip that what is this what is this here the world oh in the reverse oh, okay yeah it's a different world than what you're coming from okay Y'all, 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 y'all put Capricorn into this state where they went back to their old world of, of, of travesty and, 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 and divisive planning, okay, to fuck niggas up. Didn't I say we was on some pinky in the brain shit? They done went into their pinky in the brain, treachery ass shit, because people was playing around. Oh, and now, and now they trying to be a world. Okay, so they just wanted to fuck you up before they left. Yeah. Somebody came home. They realized that the locks was changed. Okay. By the time they got the landlords to get them in the house, they done walked into this house and realized that Capricorn done emptied the whole apartment out, done stole everything, tried to pull up their motherfucker phone, and whole time Capricorn knew what time this person was going to get home, and the cell phone was in Capricorn's name. So when this person tried to think that they was going to call Capricorn, some said, do do do. If you would like to make a call, you need to purchase a phone line because your phone line was paid under Capricorn's account. And boo doo doo, you bitch nigga have been removed, blocked, spammed, deleted. Try again. Do do do. Try again. Do do do. Try the fuck again. <laughs> Brother, brother, someone had lovers. Someone had too many fucking lovers and they was playing around with Capricorn and Capricorn said, no, bitch, I am the one that has many lovers. You don't do that shit to me. I do it to you. I do it to you. You don't do that to me. And I'm trying to tell y'all, <laughs> Capricorn needs to embrace the fact that the person that they were dating was their reflection. And... Capricorn had really done a lot and they tried to change it just be on some cool baby cool ass shit but this person bought them to the other side that side that they were trying not to be they bought them to that other side so that they could get away from them okay Capricorn used their resources. They went back in their old school trick bag to jump back in motherfucking 99. From the 99 to the 2000. Said you working with some ash head. You bad head. Make a nigga spend his cash head on that shit. Okay, yes. Make a nigga spend that cash head on that there. Okay? 
make a nigga spend his cash there on that there. Capricorn went back to they motherfucking whole bag, okay? To they whole bag. I thought you know bag, okay? They don't went back to all the mental games, all that scheming, all that all the plan, plot, strategize, all of that shit. They done went to all the mental tricks and shit, and they said, shh, we gonna get this nigga. Time out, bitch. You thought you was playing? Time out, bitch. I'm about to show you how the motherfucking Capricorn really do, because I told you not to fuck with me, bitch. I done went into my memory cup. All that shit in the past that I tried to get, that shit in this fucked up thing. And that shit made Capricorn feel so good when they was back there scheming and fucking over people like that. But Capricorn tried to change. So you made me go back to something that I enjoy doing that I ain't want to do no more? Really? Really, nigga? Didn't you, bitch? Didn't you, bitch? Oh, oh, but shh, it's okay, because I got you. Okay, I reloaded. Boom. Load up the gap. Load up the gap. Okay? You done took them to a different world. Yeah. Why are you so insecure? Yeah. Okay? Nigga, why are you so insecure? Why are you so insecure? Mm. Okay, yeah. This motherfucker's feeling real insecure about their life because they done took Capricorn to a world that they try to leave behind, a chapter they try to leave behind. They had to reach back in their memory bag and reunite, play some keyboards and cross your motherfucking head to remember so that you can remember, okay? The fuck? Ain't no fool over here. Ain't no fool over here. Ain't no fool over here. More, ain't no fool over here. A motherfucker was over here trying to work on they self because we're a work in progress, trying to paint a perfect picture and shit like that. But this motherfucker want to be out here having all these love and shit, shit. Oh, do we? Really? 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 Oh, okay. 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 Mm -hmm. You can't do a me on me, motherfucker. You can't do a me on me. And that's what this person try to do is to try to do a me on me. And you can't do no me on me. Okay? You can't do a me on me. And this person try to come home and realize, God damn. God damn. It's a different world. It's a different world from where you come from. Uh, see now. Yeah. Hear my chance to make it. Ah! Okay, I don't know the rest of the song. All that shit is not is not being tolerated no more. Motherfuckers is locked out. They got locked. They got in and realized it wasn't shit in there no more. Uh huh. Capricorn slowed all that shit down for this. So, oh, you thought you was going to continue to take advantage of me? You thought you was about to keep coming up like a fat rat? Yeah, we slowed that shit right the fuck on down. Mm hmm. You better go experience something different because you ain't going to be experiencing nothing with Capricorn no more. You better know that. Give me Capricorn. Clarify this love for okay. The bread, I try to tell y'all, Capricorn is back to the bread. And that's one thing. That's the thing that this person wanted from Capricorn. They wanted the bread. They wanted support that Capricorn is no longer giving to them. They thought that they could get it by planting a seed, by planting a child. Mm -hmm. They thought that the child was going to give them long-term bread and long-term support. But um, the smoke is clear. The smoke is clear. Capricorn can see very clear now. You understand what I'm saying? It's a rainstorm coming down on motherfuckers. Because you thought, mother, uh, someone thought that, that, that planting a baby on Capricorn was going to give them forever financial security and hospitality. That, that Capricorn will, will always be hospitable. Always be hospitable to this person. Always give support to this person. If they had eggs in the basket there. Capricorn don't give a fuck about that shit. They smoke too much weed to give a fuck about that shit. Honey, listen. You might as well go and, and figure out something else and go love on somebody else because you ain't about to be playing with Capricorn like that. I can tell you that right motherfucking now. I can tell you that right now. Give me one more car out this rebel deck. Give me one more car out this rebel deck. Because this person thinks that they're using their charm, their manipulation, their big stature, and, you know, trying to come off like this big dotting good father and protector and care like no this person was not that this person was a motherfucking snake 
and Capricorn got their reflection. But the difference is, is that Capricorn was not acting like no snake no more. They were trying to change. And they were changing. And this person came into their life and they try, they try to do good this time. You know what I'm saying? And then they ended up meeting someone of their own kind and they had to go back into their old shit to show this motherfucker, number one, you ain't you can't do me on me. That project, that person, that idea is waiting. Go after it. The world has your back. So that person, that project, that idea is waiting. Go after that shit. The world has your back. Whatever it is that you are. Because I'm trying to tell y'all, like, Capricorn has cut this shit out. They just want to be single. I don't even see Capricorn wanting to be in a relationship with anybody they're focusing on other shit it says you look like a shit show you're a hot mess fat clean yourself up i feel like that whatever that project or whatever it is that you were planning on doing i think that you really need to do it and focus your energy on that because i feel like giving your energy to this situation with this person that you're dealing with it's like you look like a shit show in regards to that and I feel like you just kind of need to put that shit on time out like you've been doing recognize that someone was deceiving you recognize that someone was just trying to manipulate you and trying to get whatever they can get out of the situation you know and like it says it might be hard but it's the tea you need to accept this criticism because we trying to help you that dark haired man that big man that tall man he just Certain people use their sex appeal and, and their good looks and their charm and stuff as their favor to help them get through life. And they think that they their good looks are going to help them make it through life. And they seen you and they seen that you get that money. And you're very hospitable. And they thought that they could take advantage of that. And Capricorn said, I'm, I'm motherfucker. Time out, bitch. This has been y'all's reading. I hope that y'all love this reading. Um, let me know if it resonates down there in the comment section. If y'all know a Capricorn that's been on a ball shit, young, yeah, pat them on their motherfucking back. Because I'm trying to tell y'all, Capricorn has really been going through some serious changes. And people need to, people need to respect Capricorn. Because I feel like people give Capricorn a bad rap and they're not all bad people because all of us have good and bad in them and one thing i'm gonna tell you i'm a scorpio scorpios have bad reputations too we got bad reps too and but we're very good people we're very giving people and we're very sensitive people and capricorns are very sensitive people too regardless if you want to recognize it or not they have feelings too you know what i'm saying and when they love they love hard and they're very extremely giving extremely giving when they love somebody and it's like Show me the money. Fuck that shit. Before I give you anything, bitch, show me the money. That's that's why I can't. I mean, mm, cancer. Maybe y'all dealing with a uh, 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 a cancer. That's why Capricorn's been asking questions because this one deceived them. Cause he's a king, but he's a king of bullshit. He's a king of snakes. He's a king of lies. He's a king of using his power and aggression and his stature. To make it through life. But you ain't bullying me bitch. I'm the fucking bully. You hear me? Capricorn. We're out of here. Tell the motherfuckers you can't bully me bitch. I'm the bully. Try the next one. Checkmate.